Friends, today we will see that, in DP type transmitters, what is zero check, and, static zero check. Look friends, this is a very important topic, and, you should also know about it. If we talk about these checks, these are the procedures for checking the zero of the transmitter. Friends, DP transmitters have two ports. The port remains on high pressure side, that port is HP port. And, the port remains on low pressure side, that port is LP port. First, we will discuss zero check. Zero check is the procedure, to check the output of the transmitter. When it's high pressure, HP, and, low pressure, LP, chambers are equalized. And, are at atmospheric pressure. Then, it should show 4.00 mA. Equalize means friends, that the equalization valve should be fully open. So that, the pressure on HP, and, LP becomes equal. Means, when the pressure at HP, and, LP is equal. Then, transmitter output should be, 4 mA. Now let's understand, how to equalize. For this, three-way manifold valve is used. In three-way manifold valves, the middle valve is called, equalization valve. Now we will discuss, the static zero check. Static zero check, is the procedure, to check the output of the transmitter. When, it's high pressure, HP, and, low pressure, LP, chambers are equalized. And, are at operating pressure. Then, it should indicate 4.00 mA. Friends, let's understand this, with an example. Suppose a DP transmitter is installed in a pipeline. First, take the zero check condition. High pressure, HP, and low pressure, LP, chambers are equalized. And, the system is maintained at normal atmospheric pressure. After this, the output of the transmitter is checked. And, it is checked, whether it is indicating, 4 mA or not. Zero check ensures that, under normal atmospheric conditions, the transmitter correctly displays, zero pressure as, 4 mA or not. Now, let's see, static zero check procedure. HP, and, LP chambers are equalized. But, the system is at its, operating pressure, means, fluid flows in the pipeline. But, when fluid flows in the pipeline, the pressure will not be zero. So how to check static zero? Isolation valves are used here. First, isolation valves are used to temporarily stop fluid flow. This isolates a section of the pipeline. After isolation, the high pressure, HP, and low pressure, LP, chambers are equalized. Due to this, pressure on both sides of the transmitter becomes equal. To equalize, the equalization valve is opened fully. Now, when fluid flow is stopped, and the chambers are equalized, then system becomes static. At this time, static zero check is performed. The output of the transmitter is checked. And observe that, when the system is static, the transmitter is still indicating, 4 mA or not. This process is also a way to check the transmitter under real-world operating conditions, in which, by temporarily eliminating the fluid pressure, the zero of the transmitter is verified. I think, you have understood zero check, and, static zero check for DP type transmitters. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching. Press the bell icon, for more updates.